Oh my god, it's another one of these videos of me just driving and not saying much. But uh, did some changes, of course, and uh, not using the IMU anymore at all. It had too much of a delay and it just caused an oscillation and it tracks back and forth. And I don't know if it's in the software or in the IMU or in the brick communication or if it would work better with just the Arduino. I haven't tried any of that, but just too frustrating that thing. Um, so I quit using it. The other thing it did is when it's in the the U-turn here when I'm going around that corner, I divide the look ahead time by two. And so it's a much tighter, so it follows, as you can see, it follows that corner much tighter. This is on a roll of you know, from four and a half to six and a half degrees. Here's auto steer. The D now is is how much does the roll add to the steering offset? And the I and the max I are that if it's greater than 40 millimeters, it will ramp up and continuously add um, a portion to the steering offset. Also, that max that five for the max I means that it's it it maxes out at half a degree adding. If you add too much degree, then it swerves back and forth and back and forth. First, you're 40, 50 mils one way, and then you're 40, 50 mils the other way. So you have to keep that low. I'm going to relabel that and move that around that stuff so it makes more sense. And yeah, that's about it. It's as you can see, it sticks the line pretty good. Good enough for me anyway. Frick how close do you want to be. Got the antenna wiggle woggling back and forth, a foot either direction. So really, where is that inch or two off of line? I think we've got to be realistic about what defines accuracy and resolution. You look back, it's nice and straight. For me, that's good enough. The other thing that's working really well is the... Um, the headland compensation for being on an angle, you see it starts there and tick, as soon as that thing crosses the line basically at any angle it works pretty good, unless it's like 80 degrees or like 10 degrees off from the direction you're going that does work pretty good. It's a rough field so the hard drive stops and it causes that pause. So the field seated at 92 and we're going 90 so it's just a bit off that's nice and consistent. But the key thing is with autonomous vehicles is that the thing from anywhere to anywhere can get back on the line without driving in circles. I like that on the line on a four wheel drive, if you're too far off the line, the thing oscillates back and forth and it can't find the line and you just can't have that. It's gotta at least pick a line, pick a line, any line, but it has to be able to correct itself. And that's where Pure Pursuit, it's maybe not as accurate, but it works every time getting back on the line if you have a fast enough steer motor, fast enough steer valves. So, yeah. I'll have to add those changes. There's another, let's say, another couple of days of seating, and then you can do some of this stuff. Cool. Okay, thanks.